people, my name is Rachel Dorsey and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm really excited to share one of my favorite skill sets that I have with you guys. So if you watched my last video, you saw that I went thrifting and I picked up some items that I wanted to turn into something new. So today I'm going to be <laughs> flipping. I'm actually standing on something right now. Let me come down. <laughs> You can't see my skirt, but I'm gonna be flipping this skirt. So let me figure out a better view. Yeah, so this skirt looks so cute with my t-shirt <laughs> and socks. I know I look great right now. I kind of feel like a grandma in this skirt. My grandma actually used to wear skirts that were cut like this. She always wore like blue and black ones. But yeah, so I kind of feel a little aged in this, but this is what it looks like. So this is a size 12 skirt, which I mentioned in the last video, and I am a size four to six. So I think this is either miss size or someone has already done alterations to it because size 12 clothes don't fit me, but size doesn't matter anyway, so irrelevant. But I thought I was gonna have to take in the waist, but I'm not gonna have to, but it does have elastic on it. So maybe that's how it can be a size 12. Um, I don't know, the front, I'll show you, hold on. So the front is like this and then the sides like this so yeah I don't really know but yeah I'm sitting I have this little storage bench at the end of my bed and I'm sitting on it I'm sitting on my knees right now <laughs> um I didn't feel like doing my whole setup so this is what we got but I do want to crop it so it's a mini skirt and probably take in the sides a little bit just so that it's really form-fitting whenever you're doing alterations the one thing that I love is you're literally customizing it to fit your body the way that you want it to look on your body. So when it comes to skirts, I find that when I buy skirts at the store, they never fit me right. They're like too loose or they squish down my butt and I don't like that. So when you're making your own skirt, you can leave excess where you need excess and then tighter where you need tighter. So I'm going to kind of show you how I do that. I made my Halloween costume this last October. I was Poison Ivy and I made a skirt and that skirt fit me so, so well because I left a little extra fabric in the butt so that it wouldn't squish it down. But then right under my butt, I like tapered it in so that it would like go down nicely. And I feel like it looked really good. So I'm gonna show you my little trick with that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start the process, I literally just lay the skirt in the floor and you can do this one of two ways. You can try the skirt on and cut it wherever you want the hem to fall. Or what I like to do, just because I think it's a little easier, is take a skirt that you know you like the length of and lay it right on top. So this is an express skirt. Hi, Lily. This is an express skirt that I have. And this is just gonna show you the difference between sizing. This skirt says that it's a double zero. I am not a double zero, nor have I ever been a double zero. Um, but the red skirt claims to 12, and you can literally see. So something's off, but anyway. So just lay it down there. You wanna make sure that the waistlines are lined up. This is some chalk. You can find it in the sewing section. Um, it's like fabric chalk. And you're literally just gonna draw a line under it. So I want my skirt to fall about here, but because we're gonna need to hem it, I like to leave about that much, about like a half of an inch to an inch. If you're a beginner in sewing, I would leave a little more just cause it makes it a little easier. But yeah, I'm probably gonna draw my line right here. So you can see, it's just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take a straight edge and draw it all the way across. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to take fabric scissors and cut all the way across. I will say if you wanna be super precise about this, you can take a ruler and measure down from here to here and from here to here, just to make sure that it's the same length. But I wing everything with sewing. I taught myself how to sew. So everything I do, I just do whatever feels right to me. <laughs> see that the skirt is a lot shorter now obviously I just cut it I'm pretty happy with the length if it's a little shorter that's fine which it's going to be so good thing I feel that way and then what I want to do is take it in right down here um, because it's kind of loose back here so I want it to form a little bit more to my body um, first I'm gonna hem it and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that so this skirt does have two layers which is kind of obnoxious but you're gonna turn it inside out, make sure it's all flat and even. 
And then what you want to do is, it's better to do this on a flat surface, but like I said, I swing everything. You want to fold it over once and then fold it over twice. So you'll get a nice even hem. The bigger the hem, I find the easier it is, um, but I don't want to make this too short. So that's about how long I'm going to make my hem. And then I'm going to take these pins and you can just put it through and you want to bring it back through like that. So I'm just going to do that all the way around the skirt. Honestly, I don't normally use pins because um, they just take up too much time and I feel like I can do it without. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to put pins in it. So you just want it to be really even. That's not very even, but let me do it and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I ended up moving to the floor and I just put pins all the way around. Just a super rough estimate of where I want the hem to be. So whenever you hem this, you want to make sure that your stitching is as close to this side as possible and not to this side. Um, because where we bent it over like that, if you put it right here, more than likely it's not going to catch the fabric that's tucked in um, and it's not going to be a nice hem. And you want your hem to be a little ways up anyway, not on the very edge. So I'm just going to go around. I already have this threaded. If you guys want to see a video of how to set up a sewing machine, I can do that. Um, but there are some really good informative ones already out there that you can check out. So I prefer to start at an edge. So this is the side of the skirt. Um, and I'm just going to line up where the line is on here and on here. And that's where I'm going to start. It's really important that you lay the skirt flat so that part of it is not getting, so like the other side is not getting sewn to it. Um, so you can see I just laid it flat. I'm going to get the hem completely ready so when I start sewing, it'll just be one clean little sweep. So this is the skirt all hem. See the stitching? Okay, so the skirt is pretty good. Um, like I said, I want to take it in just a little more down here um, so it's a little more form-fitting. but. How I'm going to do that, so you still want to be able to walk, so like right now, like I can take pretty good strides. You guys like the bruise on my knee? I got that. I was at work. I look like you can't see my head right now, um, but I was at work and I keep a water bottle clip to my safety vest and I was pulling pallet jacks and I was walking really fast and my water bottle just kept slamming into my knee, so now I have that beautiful bruise. But anyway, um, enough about that. So how I'm going to... Uh, fix this skirt. You just want some more of your little push pins and literally what I'm going to do is grab right here where the seam is and fold it to the side like that and just shove a pin in there. So it's going to look something like that. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Okay so now that I've done that I just want to make sure that I can walk. Now I'm going to take this skirt off and show you guys what's next. <laughs> Okay, so what you want to do is lay the skirt flat and then you can see where that fold is. I'm literally just going to like draw with my chalk. This is really hard to do with one hand. So giving you guys a better view. So this is kind of the line that I drew from where that little fold was. I'll probably go a little smaller than this. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So this measures about one and a half inches. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And it's about five inches up. So just go from the bottom up five inches, make a mark. It's way easier when you have your hands. And then we'll do an inch and a half down here from this line. And then literally all you're gonna do is just fold this line over onto the hem that's already there and we're just gonna sew it straight up. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is how I would style it. I have this cute little one shoulder black and white top. I styled it with these black booties. You can see I did my hair earlier. I actually have plans this Saturday night, so I think I'm going to wear this. I'm going to a nice little restaurant. So I think this will be super cute for that. Um, you could also style this skirt a little more casual, which I will show you all of my fits for this in one second. So a little more casual way I would style it 
is this black top. Still got my chains on because I always wear my chains. Has these little ties on the side. Still looks pretty casual. And then I have on white sneakers. Let me show you in the mirror. Okay, so this is it with the shoes. The shoes definitely make it a little more casual. So this is definitely a piece that you can dress up or down, do whatever. I never really wear skirts if I'm being casual, but maybe I should start because I think it looks really cute. So yeah. All right, you guys, that is all I have for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching me flip a thrifted skirt. This is something that I find really fun, super useful and sustainable. So if you wanna learn a little more about sewing, I can definitely make more videos. If you want videos of me flipping the other clothes that I bought in my last thrift video, I'd be more than happy to do that. I just knew this was gonna take a while and if I did all the pieces, we would be here for hours. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so much for being here. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye. There's these little ties on the side. Ooh, I can't get my foot out there.